It took mankind tens of thousands of years to realize that air actually existed, let alone realize that it was matter. Now we define matter as something that has mass and takes up space, but how can we prove that air is really matter? A simple way to demonstrate this is to take a cup and fill it with air. Oh, that was easy. Now ball up a tissue and put it into the cup. Now I'm going to dump this cup face down into the water. When I pull it up, you will notice that the tissue is perfectly dry. Now let's try to explain why the tissue is dry. When the cup is submerged, some water will enter the cup because air is compressible. But the water cannot go any higher because the air takes up space and has mass. And two types of matter cannot occupy the same space simultaneously. Therefore, the air acts as a barrier to keep the tissue dry. But if you pay attention, you can notice air being matter everywhere. When you blow air in a balloon, it gets bigger, showing it contains something. You can feel air rushing by you when you ride a bike. In fact, air is so powerful, it causes turbulence in an airplane. The air we breathe is a mixture of invisible gases that make up Earth's atmosphere, mostly oxygen and nitrogen. But air is much more than it seems. Really.